big development in Bangladesh. The tension is escalating at this point and it's now reaching a crescendo because a change of guard in Bangladesh is imminent at this point. The Bangladesh PM Sheikh Hasina has oh reportedly left Dhaka. Amid the unrest, the Bangladeshi PM has fled the country. This is the information that we're getting at this point. Hasina has left the Bangladesh capital in an army plane and the Bangladesh law minister has said that the situation is very volatile. This comes as the army chief is expected to make a statement. A press conference is awaited, but sources have said that that's, that, that press conference was delayed as the army was trying to convince Sheikh Hasina to step down from her position, which is what protesters in Bangladesh have been demanding. We're crossing over to my colleague Poon Pooja to guess more on this. Uh, Pooja, very big breaking news coming in. We're learning that the Bangladesh PM has fled. Tell us what we information we have. Tell us more about what we can expect now. Oh, well, absolutely. Our sources are telling us and also Bangladesh media is reporting that Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been airlifted from her official residence. And in a short while from now, we will see the army chief, Wakarul Zaman, who is going to brief the nation. We're expecting a big announcement shortly. He could announce that emergency could be imposed over the nation, or he could also announce the resignation of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. These are the two possibilities that the local media is reporting. Meanwhile, the protesters who have defied the curfew orders and are out on the streets have now breached the barricades and entered Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's official residence, Gono Bhavan, and have entered. Police trying to stop them have failed, but the protesters now have in fact entered Gono Bhavan and are protesting there. Pooja, do stay with us. Is there any information about where she has fled to? Well, the Bangladeshi agencies are extremely tight-lipped about her whereabouts. What we can confirm as of now is that sources have confirmed that she was airlifted from her official residence. However, it is yet to be confirmed where uh, she was evacuated and taken to. It could be India considering our relationship with Bangladesh and how New Delhi is the Dhaka's closest ally. And considering the relationship that Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and Prime Minister Narendra Modi shared. But at this point in time, the kind of uh, situation that prevails in Bangladesh and as the country continues to remain on the boil, it, it is yet to be confirmed which place exactly the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been taken to. All right, we'll continue to track the developments here. In fact, we'll give you some more context. But some big questions are arising. What exactly does this mean for Bangladesh at this point? We are expecting a press conference from the army chief, which is expected to begin shortly. Beyond this as well, does this mean that the army is going to be taking over now that the prime minister has fled? We'll have to wait and see. But we'll now give you more context to what's taking place as a new wave of violence has gripped Bangladesh. Over 100 people have lost their lives and further 200 have suffered injuries after students and protesters protesters clashed with the members of the ruling Awami League. The situation may indeed worsen as protesters have called for a march to Dhaka today itself. The protesters are demanding the resignation of the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina over the deaths of hundreds of student protesters who have been demanding the scrapping of job quotas. Now, in a bid to control the situation, the Bangladesh government has imposed a nationwide curfew. Internet has also been snapped across the country. Train services are also suspended. Beyond this, the Indian High Commission has also issued an advisory to all Indian nationals, asking them not to travel to Bangladesh. Additionally, if you're an Indian in Bangladesh, you've been advised to remain on alert at this point and get in touch with the Indian High Commission. But the big development is that the Bangladesh PM, Sheikh Hasina, has reportedly fled Dhaka. A very difficult time for Bangladesh and it's possible that things could get worse before they get better. The army is out on the streets and they've had to fire on one or two occasions. It all began of course with reservations. Reservations for grandchildren of the freedom fighters, basically people from the Awami League. Now in a country which has reservations already and there is so much unemployment, it led to an outburst of uh, problems. But what happens now? The problem is that apart from these students, apart from people, the Jamaat Islami has got very involved in it. 
And there are reports that the Pakistani High Commission could well be behind it. So all of that makes things very, very difficult for the Awami League government. For Sheikh Hasina, the Prime Minister, who is a very sensible, moderate person. But things seem to be going out of hand now. Now what can be done? Well, this is an internal problem. This is not something a country, another country, can get involved with. But the worry in India is that the minorities in Bangladesh, the Hindu population, about 8, 9, 10 percent, they could be in danger because their properties have been ransacked already. There have been some attacks. So there has to be an effort by the Bangladesh government to ensure that everybody in Bangladesh is protected. Otherwise, things could get much, much worse.